Hello, this is Math Models, topic 2-5. Now we're going to be talking about circle graphs and pie charts. So a circle graph, uh, we also call it a pie chart, compares percents of a whole. And so here's a few facts we need to know. We need to know that a full circle is 360 degrees and 100%. And a sector represents the part or whole. And so now we're going to set up some proportions. We know that the part goes over the whole. So the percent goes over 100. And the degree goes over 360. And this is what we're going to use to solve all of our pie chart problems. So here we have example number one. Uh, we've got Williams Discord, uh, Discount Department Store and they have decided uh, they've already figured out the angles for their pie chart uh, on each section and we want to know what the percents are. So let's go ahead and start with household. I know that this is 144 over 360, and that's going to equal something over 100. And then it's just cross multiply and divide. So 144 times 100 divided by 360 gives us 40. Our quilt fabric, that would be 36 over 360 equals what over 100? I could cross multiply and divide to find this out again, but 36 over 360 I know is 10 over 100. That's 10 percent. Jewelry, that would be 43 over 360 equaling some part over 100. We just cross multiply and divide again. And it gives us 11.94 repeating. So that's 11.94 repeating percent. And then our fine china at 137 degrees over 360 equals something over 100. Just cross multiply and divide. And I get 38.05 repeating. Percent. And if you added all these up, you would see that you get 100 because point, uh, there's four repeating, there's five repeating, gives you nine repeating, which is in fact one, which gives you that percent. And so this is our pie chart. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Uh, someone has gone out and uh, counted all of our single, married, widowed, and divorced and said how many millions of people that we have. And we need to convert these into percents and uh, angles. Well, remember our formula is that part over whole equals the percent over 100 equals the degree over 360. So now we're going to go ahead and start working all of these out. So 41.8 over, well I need to figure out what my whole is. So I'm going to add all of these up. 41.8 plus 113.3 plus 13.9 plus 16.3 gives us 
point three it has to equal something over a hundred so I cross multiply and divide 41.8 times 100 divided by 185.3 gives me about 22.6 percent and I can do the same thing 41.8 over 185.3 equals something over 360 cross multiply and divide 41.8 times 360 divided by 18.5.3 gives me approximately 81.2 degrees. It says the whole degree, well that would just be 83 and whole percent, this would be 23 percent. I'm going to do the same thing for all the rest. Uh, 113 over 185.3 for 100 and 360 gives us 61 Three point three. Uh, one one three point three times three sixty over one eighty five point three gives us two hundred and twenty. So sixty one two twenty. Thirteen point nine that equals about eight. That equals twenty seven. And our last one, sixteen point three gives us nine. And so that's how we have it. And now we need to go ahead and draw our circle graph. And if we have a protractor, it makes life a lot easier to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a protractor. find the center of the circle. We'll say that that looks like uh, that looks like the center. starting point and I need to start by going 23 degrees it's going to be about there and then from 23 degrees I need to go 61 degree uh, not 23 degrees 81 degrees Take a 
is about there. From 81, we need to go to 20. Well, that's more than 180, so we'll just save that one for last. So we'll do the 27 degrees. It's a single, widowed, uh, now we'll do 32 degrees. divorced, leaving our large one to be married. Now, uh, these don't exact have to be exact, they just need to be close. As you can see, these are really close in size. This one is bigger and this one's over half. Protractor helps, but you don't need a protractor to do this. Now let's go ahead and answer some questions. Uh, what percent are married? Well, we just look up here. Married is 61 percent. Our smallest category would be the eight percent or widowed. And what's the difference between single and divorce is a whole percent? Well single is 23 percent and uh, divorced is nine percent. So 23 minus nine gives us 14 percent. And so those are uh, circle graphs or pie charts, whichever method you prefer to call them. Uh, not terribly difficult, just proportions to solve them. Good luck and have a good day.